All right, today we're diagnosing an E90 BMW. This is a 325i, and this one was a weird problem. The customer thought he was gonna have to go to the dealership. So what happened was he lost his reverse lights, and after he uh, did some digging and found some wiring problems, looks like they were right here at the trunk flex, you know, from opening and closing the trunk. So he fixed that, he put all new bulbs in, and nothing would still work. So he did some research, he said, oh, apparently you need to go to BMW and hook to their proper BMW dealership stuff, and that'll fix the problem. But what happens is, is once the car sees a short for more than 50 times, it shuts the circuit off. It's like a safety feature in these BMWs. So today I'm using my new Creator uh, Elite Launch BMW Diagnostic Tool. And this thing is literally, you know, this is right up there with the dealership's gear. So what I did first was I went into Actuation Test. And under Actuation Tests, you go to Vehicle Lighting. And I can literally turn every light in this car on. And what was happening, we were getting nothing on our reverse lights when I activated them. So when you activate, it'll go for 15 seconds, and then you can get out and check, and then they turn off. So that's a really nice feature. So what we ended up having to do, let's make sure I can try to show it here, was I had to get out of this, and I had to go to special functions and I had to go to extensions and then I had to click on short circuits and what this does is it shows you the FRM live that's in the car and it tells you no or yes if the circuit's been tripped and obviously when we scrolled down this list we found that we had a circuit that was tripped so then what you do when you have a circuit tripped is you see how all these circuits are labeled OX1A, OX19. So whichever circuit is tripped, you want to write that letter down. And then you slip back here and you go to turn off short circuit inhibit. And you get to type in the code that was on your light that was short circuited. Once you do that, you press OK. And it says end of service function. So then we can go back back to our actuation test vehicle lighting and we're going to fire up the reverse lights we're going to activate and voila we have reverse lights didn't have to go to the dealer didn't have to put up with their foolishness and their stories it's so nice to be able to do this stuff right home in your yard with this new awesome tool that Creator brought out, or launch rather, the launch Creator. So, yeah, customer's happy and the job's done.